organically grown. Mm -hmm. You know when the mangoes were in season, they, we asked them to harvest organic mangoes. This is a nice spot. It, it is. is. <laughs> Whatever. Now what do you do, tell me? But I was assigned in New York. Oh wow. That's where we met. That's where we met. Oh wonderful. I spent six years in New, in New York. York. Yeah. And you're back here. Yes, now. I'm back here. I get to meet a lot of people who are in Zidane. <laughs> I'd like you to meet them also. Anyway, these are the flowers now. This wow. one, you know, this one smells like uh, vanilla. Oh, and you know, I want you to see my unfinished house. Oh, sure, we'd love oh. to see it. I have a rare uh, vine. Ah, it smells so nice. But, yeah, rare vine. If you have time, I'll bring you there. You have a mighty green thumb. Did you plant <laughs> many All of this. By yourself? There was oh. nothing here before wow. when I came wow. here. Wilderness. And wow. when did you settle here? Uh, about uh, 21 years ago. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, if you read the coffee table book, I just wanted to find a place for myself mm -hmm. and you know discover what I really love to do, which is gardening. I grew up in my grandma's garden, that's why I wanted to mm. relieve it. Because mm. there comes a time in your life where you feel a little sadness. I said, what is it that would make me happy? Relieve my grandma's garden. And mm -hmm. when I came here, you know, I said I forgot that I was depressed. Oh, <laughs> but I'll show you. It's my really house. a good therapy. I know. That's what I've been telling my friends. I'm here because I need the nature therapy. <laughs> yeah, and of course you have the uh, sunshine, yes. which you cannot uh, encapsulate. Mm -hmm. It's there, fresh. And at night the nature sounds. So amazing. Yeah, while you're sleeping. I know. Oh my God. And I in slept the morning. In. I slept in, like we woke up almost 10 o'clock already. Exactly, it's because so difficult it's so to get out of bed. Yeah. I will show you my house unfinished. Oh, sure. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, that'll be great. So there. Because, uh, you see, in Manila, there's absolutely no fresh air. It's all emissions. Uh -huh. And, you know, that's why you all get sick, because you lack sunshine, you lack... Uh, this fresh air is precious <laughs> and of course the flowers at night we have fragrant flowers Dama de noche, Dama de yeah, noche. They, everybody's been raving and you know what when we when we were in the golf cart it was closed yes because it was raining yesterday yes but then when we went out to the spa it was just the perfect like unbelievable yeah wow. introduction prelude like mm -hmm. oh and this makes me relaxed already. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm, I'm with nature. So, yes. and it's here so I teach perfect. art of living in the present moment. Mm -hmm. There's no other time but the moment. Absolutely, that's I'm the moment living. that we live in. And, and a grateful living. This is my. This is called House of Mercedes. Oh, because thank you my so oh my, God. my so grandma's big. name is Mercedes. I grew up in her garden. Orange and yellow. Oh, yeah, it's like an ombre. Yeah. Orange, yellow. Yes. Uh, don't have a microwave. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's no air conditioning unit. And all. <laughs> wow, such a beautiful house. Hello. Make it stop it. It's okay. It's me. Aren't you ashamed that you'll be seen when you have your toilet bowl here and your bed? <laughs> it's a different setup, but it's very beautiful though. You keep yeah. everything so nice and flowery. If it's clean, then there's no shame. Right. Yeah, and I have this uh, fragrant flowers. And this flowers. And another garden out here. 
more gardens. <laughs> I love the design. Like, um, filled with lights. The guest, the guest room. room. Oh, so pretty. And the guest shower room. Did you try the massage? Yes, yes. yes. Last time. Oh, one it was really amazing, actually. Yeah. And then you could see, here you can see the blue from the top. The top of the vines and the oh, flowers. Yeah. There, everything. This is where I could teach yoga meditation. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I and my that. massage bed. Very nice. Do you teach meditation also? A little. Oh, you have a. Oh, I thought it's a speaker, it's a life. No, no, it's a life. Right. But I wanted to remove. So here, there's also cross ventilation. Uh -huh, yeah. It can mm -hmm. be done everywhere. You. So fresco. I know. And you don't close the. There's no way to shut the window, so you see everything. So eat the lemon, suck the lemon, it is sour, there's no meat there. So good. But this one, you mm. eat it, let it swirl around your mouth. After that, thank you. Oh, it tastes more sweet now. Sweeter. It was more sweet before, but yes. now it's more sweet. Mm. <laughs> That's why he finished one way. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. That is a miracle fruit, I'll show you That is the sweetest lemon I've ever had in my life. Wow. I'll give you some seeds to bring home and then you can eat anything can without sugar. Wow. I'll show you the Really beautiful singing voice you have. <laughs> oh, this is the miracle fruit tree. They had meeting friends and she can, he can now drink any juice that's sour without adding sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah it's good for the, It's good for diabetes. That was a really nice tour of the house. Oh, this place is so nice. I really yes. don't want to leave. Thank you, John. <laughs> thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, John Delin. Thank you, sir. Oh no, it's raining now. Good thing we already finished our tour. Lucky for us. Wherever we go, we end up getting more stuff. More cookies, snacks, and uh, flowers, and vegetables, and uh, <laughs> different things here and there. I'm going to add this to our collection. It's cookies, it's Spanish bread here. Chicken fries. And Small Spanish bread, medium uh, yeah, Spanish yeah. bread, big Spanish bread. Wow, well, we have a lot of <laughs> Spanish bread choices. So which ones are we going to get? Um, the big and small. The big and small, okay. How about the medium? That's fine, but we should also get these here. Okay. These look really good and they're still warm. And it's a perfect timing because our driver just got here. See, where is he? There. Oh, perfect. So, let's get our stuff. 
great, good timing. I so we just the I enjoyed my whole day to last night with oh, yeah? uh, the editing part. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you yeah. edited a lot yeah. of photos? <laughs> yes. Nice, that's cool. All right, we're just gonna get our stuff. Yes. Some really great service we got here. Thank you, Kuya. Come on. Thank you very much, Salamat. Balik po kayo. Babalik kami. I'll sit on the other side. We're now going to be coming back home. Aww. Yeah, but we back had a wonderful time. Back to the grind. Time. Back to the grind. <laughs> really good time spent here though. And it's going to be a great idea to come back here with the family sometime. Yep. <laughs> a lot of though. So now we're back home already. Uh, except now we're going out to have some dinner. So, what would you say was your favorite part of this overnight stay? Oh, baby, just um, uh, just being with nature, you know, like not having, I didn't have my phone at all yesterday. Like, ever since we got there, like, I was offline. I wasn't even, you know, um, uh, looking for it. Once I gave it to you, I remember the nature sounds when we were sleeping. Mm -hmm. It really brought me back to that night in Ibulao. And also in, uh, no, in Ifugao. Ifugao, by the, the terrace. Yeah, inside the hut. Mm -hmm. And uh, hearing all of these nature sounds mm -hmm. while you're sleeping. And, and mm -hmm. that's exactly what I wanted to do. And that's exactly where I wanted to be, just to distress. And, um, you know, um, thank you, back to basics. Yeah, back to nature, back to reality. Uh -huh. Back to basics, because when you're in the city, there's so many things you have to think about. Again, when you're there, you, you know, you have, it's very simple. Yeah, it's all involved over here in the city with this interconnectedness it's very convenient of course for it, but it's just better to be able to relax your mind and your body while you know following the course of doing nothing <laughs> just relaxing and the the air the air that they had over there how good yeah. was that really just beautiful environment yeah, for me also it was uh, definitely the nature and uh, the quality of air for a change because you know it's always so stuffy no matter what like even though uh, even though it's much better here in Manila than it used to be years ago it's still uh, just uh, you know the this constant reality of uh, pollution and smog it's you know I'm, it's sad being used to it but then when you go out to a place that has none of it where the air is totally fresh and clear it's a wonderful, sweet relief. And of course, those nature sounds. <laughs> I uh, made a recording of it so I, we could uh, just listen to it whenever we want to go back to that time and place. Just close your eyes and listen to the crickets, to the frogs, the very enjoyable night that we spent there. And uh, definitely good to do that from time to time. And what else did you like there? I like, I really liked how um, Miss Sonia Garcia, we just came up to her and we just, hi, I'm, you know, and she didn't even know who we are mm -hmm. and she welcomed her into our, into her private home, not just like the whole, right. you know, um, like where she actually court, lives, where she actually lives, like mm -hmm. her back, her, her bedroom, mm -hmm. like her, 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 her private home, basically, where mm -hmm. she lives, she, did, she only knew her for like, she seconds, only knew us seconds. for only yeah 10 minutes Nothing. not even yeah like a few minutes and she said ah i'll show you my house <laughs> where i live that's really nice of her i know and everybody all of the all of the people in sonia's garden they're so nice mm -hmm. they're very uh, helpful she seems like a really gracious host yeah and she and I guess that's that's really because she lives in a beautiful environment mm -hmm. 
where nothing stresses her out. <laughs> yeah. So as long as you have like uh, wow. n only niceness inside. Right. That's, that's all you can show everyone. She's living in her own paradise. <laughs> yeah. So tune in next time for another episode of the Time Lapse Traveler. <laughs>